so this is about the first figure in the half lap joint next we are going to discuss about second figure in the in this half lap joint okay for this second figure also first you should draw the a straight line start the figure from the bottom so that you can draw completely in this page so mark a point on the right side okay for mentioning angles so using protractor so using protractor first mark 30 next 90 and 30 okay here now using scale now using scale so draw 100 mm on left side of the mark of 30 degrees point so from here to here mark 10 mm sorry 100 mm that is 10 centimeters okay on left side it is of 100 mm next on the right side mark 50 mm here so it is of 50 mm and at this point that is at 90 degrees value so mark as 30 mm 1 2 3 so this is of 30 mm okay next you are going to draw here on right side now we are going to finish this on right side so similarly parallel to this line so draw a point so draw a line of 30 mm 1 3 so after here we are going to draw 30 mm next parallel to this line draw a length of 50 mm from this point to this point so it is of 50 mm so you are done with on right side next you are going to finish it here so as it is half lap joint so remaining 50 mm is removed on bottom side so upper side you are going to finish this okay so it's parallel to this as it is of 30 mm so mark this point and place the scale here so you should draw only half of the portion here as remaining portion is going to remove okay so i have drawn 15 mm here and parallel to this line so mark a point here and draw remaining 50 here so this part bottom portion is removed next again parallel to this line so mark the 15 mm here 15 okay and now we are going to join this line points so this is of 50 and this should be of 150 total length so parallel to that line so draw 150 like this so we are done with on the left side now we are going to finish the top side of make the scale parallel to this line now move the scale to this point and mark the point as 15 and 50 mm here so similarly so make the scale parallel to this line move the scale to this point and mark the point as 50 mm here now draw a line here at this points so that it will be meeting at end points so this is how we are going to draw the top portion here okay so now we are going to draw the imaginal lines that is invisible lines using the dotted lines okay so for that first draw a 100 mm line from this uh, parallel scale to this point so it should be parallel to each and every this inclined lines so draw 100 mm like this next parallel to this 150 mm so mark this point here and draw 15 so similarly parallel to this 50 mm so move the cursor here and draw 50 so similar to this 15 mm draw 15 mm here okay 
and next you are going to draw these lines so parallel to these lines mark the point here and draw 50 mm and here also it should be of 50 mm and here also it should be 50 mm okay so this is how we are done with second figure in the half lap joint next we are going to give the dimensions so first mention angle it is of 30 and here also mention as 30 next draw the dimensions further extension these lines very lightly okay so now give the values give the dimension lines with values so so draw a line here okay and here also and next on this side so parallel to this line draw a line here and on this left side so draw this line this line and this line it should be very light okay so first give 15 line and next 30 mm line so for each and every dimension lines first give arrow mark and this length is 50 next this length give the arrow mark on end sides of this line and give the value as 100 and for this line give the arrow mark and give the value as 50 and for this line mark the arrow marks with value as 50 and next you are going to mark the angles for this line arrow marks for this line and give the value as 30 okay so whenever we are mentioned the dimensions check the short value should be given first and then longer value okay so first for each and every figure we should give the units okay first we are going to give the units for the first figure so this is the figure one so this for figure one i'm going to give the units here as well as the name of the figure okay so for giving the text here first you should draw a line and give the height of the text should be 10 8 or 10 mm i'm giving it as some 8 mm so again draw parallel to this okay now i'm going to give the text give the text in capital letters the width should be also we should mention so it should be of 6 mm give the text like this in capital letters so each and every letter should be given properly So in this way we are going to give the dimensions for each and every figure and now I'm going to give the name for it. So for that I'm going to draw a line here and give the text height as 8 or 9, 10 mm and again draw a line here and give the value as half lap joint. It should be also in capital letters. So this is the name of the figure so this is the half lap joint so you can make the bowl also if possible you can make it complete dark okay check the exact figure should be in dark okay so after completion of giving these dimensions draw the figure darkly wherever it is possible so this is about the half lap joint figures that is this is the figure one okay and this is figure two 
so in this way we are going to draw the figures with exact measurements and angles okay see you in the next class thank you